thank you for joining me about relevant news on our Second Amendment. Let's get started first with constitutional carry, the laws and issues. What is constitutional carry? The term constitutional carry or permitless carry refers to legislation generally at the state level that allows anyone who can legally possess a firearm to carry it concealed on or about that person without any requirement that the gun owner obtain a license or a permit. What states currently have constitutional carry laws? Uh, on the next page, there is a map. The map is indicative of the states that currently allow citizens to carry concealed firearms in any or all situations without first obtaining a concealed carry permit. Okay, in green, the uh, states are highlighted green. No permit is required to carry concealed. Blue, all the blue states shall issue states that issue a permit to the applicant if they meet the constitutional requirements and pass the required background check. And red, all of the states in red may issue states that exercise discretion by requiring the applicant show need or cause or by outright not issuing permits to anyone. What are the core arguments in favor of constitutional carry? The core argument in favor of permitless carry is simply that the ability to own a firearm and use it in self-defense is protected by the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. As part of our Bill of Rights, the majority of gun owners feel strongly, and I count myself as among this group, that no license should be required by the government in order to exercise one's right to keep and bear arms, and that right includes carrying a firearm concealed. Furthermore, we have now many years of experience with states and constitutional carry. Nothing has happened that would suggest or indicate that allowing citizens to carry concealed, even without a permit or training, has a negative outcome on public safety. This track record is the greatest supporting data in more constitutional carry legislation. Concealed is key here because it is the best interest for a gun owner to not parade the fact that they have a firearm and are prepared to defend themselves. Doing so often makes the gun owner a target and eliminates the significant advantage that surprise brings in an encounter. Constitutional carry is the next step in this logical progression as America regains an unfringed right to keep and bear arms. 24 states are planning to introduce or that have already introduced constitutional carry laws in their legislatures are listed above. These states above are fighting with people who don't want this freedom for their residents. The opposition always argues that constitutional carry will cause havoc and crime, which never happens when it passes elsewhere. All that happens is crime drops. The opposition is irrational, based on the evidence, obsessed with a paranoid delusion and in need of care. Okay, uh, this is a list of the 15 states with uh, constitutional carry and they're in chronological order. Vermont has constitutional carry since the nation's founding in 1791. 
Montana enacted constitutional carry in 1991 for all areas outside the city limits. And I think they're working on updating that as well. Alaska enacted true constitutional carry in 2003. Texas enacted constitutional carry, quote unquote, light in 2007 as the Motorist Protection Act freeing people to carry in their vehicles and to and from their vehicles and their homes, land, or business. Arizona got full constitutional carry in 2010, the third state with the real freedom to carry. Kansas pushed constitutional carry uh, with widespread support in 2015. West Virginia had to override the governor's veto to pass its law in March of 2016. Idaho pushed it through and got it in March of 2016. Mississippi succeeded in constitutional carry in April of 2016. Missouri overrode a governor's veto to pass constitutional carry in January of 2017. New Hampshire passed constitutional carry in 2017, as well as North Dakota. Many states have some level or form of constitutional carry for homes, businesses, land you own or lease, during sporting pursuits in vehicles and in other situations with varying degrees or restrictions, special condi conditions, or rights infringing red tape. Now that we've discussed the good news regarding our Second Amendment, with 14 states, which are the states that were highlighted green on the map. But let's look at the U.S. as a whole, and you'll see the Second Amendment is under attack. With laws and rules against our Second Amendment in some form or fashion are in the blue states, the states that are blue or flat out denial of our Second Amendment rights, which are the states in red. So if you're looking at this as a whole, technically all of the U.S. should be green under the Second Amendment that our founding fathers laid out for us. Why? To allow us to protect ourselves from tyranny. How much closer was our government to tyranny today in everything that we're seeing. And looking at that map, when you understand that every single state should be green, it raises a little bit of concern. Um, so we really need to be paying attention on a whole where this country is headed with the Second Amendment rights.